So here I have my model of a metal lattice and what it's going to be doing is maybe vibrating slightly. And here I have an electron that has to find its way from one side to the other. And as it moves through, it's going to feel some kind of resistance uh, as it moves through this. Now perhaps this conductor isn't this length but maybe is twice as long. Now if that same charge carrier had to move through twice the length, there's going to be twice as many things for it to get past which are kind of knocking it and impeding its progress. And therefore, if you have something which is twice as long, it experiences twice the resistance. And what we can then say is that the resistance is proportional to the length of the object. But let's also imagine what would happen if we maybe had uh, an object which was twice as wide uh, as it was before. Well, this time, uh, rather than this kind of electron having to go through this certain way here, it's got more options it can choose to go the, the, way, the path of least resistance. And therefore, if you have something which is a bigger area, the resistance actually goes down. And what we can also say is that the resistance is proportional to 1 divided by the area. So bringing this all together, what we can say is that the resistance of an object is proportional to the length and inversely proportional to the area. Now provided we have the same kind of metal, the same kind of uh, lattice, and it's at the same temperature so these things aren't vibrating too much, we can then give this some kind of constant of proportionality. And what we can say is that R is equal to rho L over A. And we're using the symbol rho, rho here, uh, the Greek symbol, which is also used for density and other things. And this really depends upon the type of material that we have. And this is what we call the resistivity. And this is specific to a certain kind of material. So the resistivity of copper is going to be different to the resistivity of steel or aluminium. And again, these are all set at a certain kind of temperature. And if we think about the units, we can maybe rearrange this equation to say that rho is equal to Ra over L. And bearing in mind, we uh, look at the resistance in ohms, uh, the area in meters squared, and we're going to divide this all by meters. This gives us then the units for resistivity to be the ohm meter. So what does this mean? How can you visualize it? Well, the way I like to think about it is if you had uh, a cube of metal, perhaps maybe some copper, and this cube was one meter by one meter by one meter. So provided we uh, have a, a current which flows through this block, which has a length of one meter and an area of one meter, then we can really think about the resistivity as a resistance of a cubic meter of a substance. And again, it's gonna vary from metal to metal and it will increase as temperature goes up. 